In this video, I'm going to show which are the best web hosting providers for bloggers right now. I will provide you with my top three hosting providers that you should seriously consider after I have tested almost 20 hosting providers. I'm not going to waste your time here by listing the bad hosting providers and then providing you with technical jargon which most people don't understand anyway. But instead, I'm going to provide value by showing you the stats and facts that actually matter, like the page load speed and uptime performance. Now the categories that I'll be basing my comparison on are pricing, setup and ease of use, speed and uptime performance, support, and who I would recommend each of these hosting providers to. I'll have a special bonus offer for you if you decide to pick up any of these web hosting plan through my special discounted link in the description below. I also have a free checklist on starting a successful blog that I'll be providing for everyone, so make sure to stick with me to the very end and I'll show you how to get access to this bonus. But for now, let's get right into the video. The first hosting company on my list is Green Geeks. I'm giving them the gold medal here for being the best performer in terms of speed and uptime. If you want the fastest speed from a shared hosting provider while still performing well in other areas, then Green Geeks is the best choice for your blog. Green Geeks has great prices on all three of their hosting plans. The Lite plan starts at just $2.49, which is the cheapest on this list. Their next two plans, which provides you unlimited websites and an increase in speed, is also very affordable. All their plans also come with free automatic nightly backup and they use Lightspeed servers, which is premium and are meant to be super fast. A bonus from Green Geeks is that you will get a free domain name for your first year on any of their hosting plans. Next is the speed and uptime performance. I bought my own hosting plan from Green Geeks to really test them out. I first installed a basic theme and optimized my site. I then installed the Lightspeed caching plugin, which will only work with hosting companies that uses Lightspeed servers. I then put my website to the test on GT Metrics, and the results show that my site loaded in just 1.4 seconds, which is super fast and easily passes Google recommended site load speed of 3 seconds. This means that it will easily help you rank your blog on search engines. Next, I tested Green Geek's uptime performance using Uptime Robot. Their result was a perfect 100% uptime over the 30 day period. In fact, they kept this amazing streak going for 95 days in a row. Green Geeks uses a simple cPanel user interface with a few added custom things like the SSL certificate. As you can see here, installing the SSL certificate can be done on the custom dashboard if you find that easier than using cPanel, which is still possible to do with Green Geeks. Next is the installation of your WordPress blog. This one is done on cPanel the normal way. Simple, clean, but not that pretty. Green Geeks has three data centers in the United States, Canada, and Europe, which is not as many as some other hosting providers on my list, but still good enough for diversification and is still very useful for non-US based businesses. Green Geeks provides 24-7 customer support through email, live chat, and phone call. I tested Green Geeks support team by asking them three different questions and they overall performed really well. They helped me fully install my SSL certificate and Cloudflare CDN. They also scanned my website for malware and produced a report for me which I was happy with. The only thing they didn't do was remove the malware from my site, which I didn't expect them to do anyway. Now from contacting them at three different times of the day, I timed their average customer support response time to be around 16 minutes, which was too slow for me and did not pass my minimum requirement of 5 minutes. Now you can see the score breakdown I gave Green Geeks for each of the criteria I tested them on here. And after averaging out all the scores and giving double points for the performance section, which I believe to be the most important feature, Green Geeks scored an 8.5 out of 10 overall. They have the best speed performance and the cheapest price on this list too. So if you're a blogger with a small budget but still want great performance from your web host, then Green Geeks is the best option for you to get started. Here's a quick question for you. What is your main criteria for selecting your hosting provider? Is it price, speed, or customer support? Let me know in the comments section below. A2 Hosting is the next hosting provider on my list. I believe they have the most features and the best support for a shared hosting provider. So if you want all the bells and whistles and expect support to be top notch, then A2 Hosting would be my pick for your blogging site. A2 Hosting has great prices starting at $2.99 per month. Their startup and driver plan are really cheap for the features you get, like the free personal website migration and the automatic daily backups on the drive plan. However, if you want better performance, you need to go with their Turbo Boost or Turbo Max plans 
as you'll get the added feature of the NVMe storage and their Lightspeed server, which allows you to install their A2 Optimize custom caching plugin to really increase your website page load speed. Even though it is more expensive, I think it is worth the extra money as I show you my performance test results of applying these features here. From the Turbo Max plan that I bought, I ran a speed test with GT Metrics and my site loaded in 2.3 seconds, which is really solid already, but then I installed the A2 Optimize custom caching plugin, which is what you get on their Turbo plans, and now my website loaded in just 1.8 seconds. This is super fast and makes them one of the fastest share hosting providers I have tested. They also easily pass Google's 3 second recommended site load speed, so you have no problems ranking your blog on Google. Next, I tested out A2 Hosting's uptime with Uptime Robot, and they produced a 99.988% uptime over the 30 day period, which is not the best overall, but still very reliable and passes my minimum requirement of 99.95%. Now with the setup and ease of use, once you click on the cPanel button from A2 Hosting's dashboard, it'll just take you to the standard cPanel user interface where you can do things like installing your WordPress website and SSL certificate. You'll also be able to create your email address and do any other adjustments to your WordPress site from here. As you can see here, installing your WordPress blog with cPanel is not complicated at all. It is really simple, but the process just doesn't look pretty, which for me, I'm okay with. Another thing worth mentioning is that A2 Hosting has four data centers in three different countries, which you can host your WordPress blog on. So this can be really handy for non-US businesses. A2 Hosting provides 24 seven customer support through email, live chat, and phone call. So you can get in contact with them at any time of the day. I tested out A2 Hosting by asking the same three questions and they overall did a really good job. They helped me fully install my SSL certificate and Cloudflare CDN. They were also willing to go the extra mile and scan my website and produce a malware report for me, even though this was not part of their scope. The only thing they didn't do for me was remove the actual malware. And I was okay with that because I didn't expect them to. Now let's talk about their customer support response time. From the three times I contacted them, their average response time was three and a half minutes, which was not the fastest, but easily passed my minimum requirement of five minutes. Now after averaging out all the points from each section, A2 Hosting had an overall average score of 8.5 out of 10. They are a really solid host with tons of unique features like the A2 Optimized Cache plugin and free website migration. And their support is also top notch. So if you care about these things the most, then I recommend you give A2 Hosting a try. I've also made detailed individual reviews on all the hosting companies on my list today. So if you want more information on a particular hosting provider, then you can check out the links in the description below, which will lead you to each of these individual video reviews. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my roundup review so far? If yes, make sure to let me know by liking my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content that I'll be releasing every week. The next hosting provider on my list is Kinsta. This is the best premium option on my list and would also be the best overall for your business if you have the budget. They are not your typical shared hosting provider, but instead they are more of a managed WordPress cloud hosting solution. So if you're not concerned with price and just want the best of the best, then Kinsta is what you should use for your blog as they were one of the top overall hosting companies from a list of almost 20 different companies I tested. Kinsta's cheapest plan starts at $30 per month on the starter plan, which is for one website and 25,000 visits per month. I think this is quite expensive, but it's justified by using Google Cloud Platform to increase their performance and also providing a top-notch customer support team as well. Kinsta is a top-of-the-line host because they use their own CDN and have server-side caching, which means it is faster than using your normal WordPress caching plugins like WP Fastest Cache or WP Rocket. They will also personally migrate your website to them for free. They provide you with free automatic backups and also have free malware removal included on all their plans. You can see here, right? They pretty much have every feature available to you included in this price already. Now for the website speed, my GT metrics results show that my website with Kinsta loaded in just 1.1 seconds, which makes them easily the fastest host on my list here today. Next is the uptime results with Uptime Robot. And this one was also a perfect 100% uptime with 45 days straight of no downtime. 
Kinsta has their own custom user interface, which I found to be one of the easiest and most comprehensive to use. Everything is laid out nicely and they don't confuse you with all the buttons and settings like other hosting providers do. Installing your WordPress blog is also simple as I show you a real life demo on it right here. Just a few clicks and you're up and running. The SSL certificate is also the same. A really easy few clicks will get that done for you as well. Kinsta has 24 server locations worldwide, which is the most out of any hosting providers I tested. So no matter where you are in the world, I believe Kinsta will have you covered here. Kinsta provides 24 seven customer support through live chat and email. From the same questions I asked Kinsta, they answered them all the best and fixed and installed everything I wanted. They were one of the only companies willing to remove malware for me free of charge. Kinsta really goes above and beyond for their customers here. Really well done. Now their average customer support wait time was only one minute and 30 seconds, which is also incredible. Now after adding up all the points, Kinsta scored an almost perfect 9.5 out of 10. They only lost half a point due to their price, but I can't complain as everything else was pretty much perfect. So if you're not concerned about price, then Kinsta can't be beaten and will be the best choice for your blog, in my honest opinion. This is a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to pick up any of these web hosting plan through my link, then just send me your receipt to bonus at .com and I'll send you back access to my bonus course right away. It's that easy. And if you want my free checklist on starting a successful blog, then just go to this link in the description below and you'll get access to that from there. Now I think picking the right hosting provider is such a crucial step for your business. So now that you have decided on a great hosting providers from my list here, you are now ready to go out and fully build your website. And this next video will help you do just that. So check it out and I'll see you over there.